682 Tango Mike, Atlanta ramp with Alpha ready for taxi. Number 682 Tango Mike, uh, stand by for taxi or uh, taxi and remain clear of taxi bay hotel. I have traffic will need to vacate on hotel. Okay, I'll taxi to and remain clear of hotel for 682 Tango Mike. Roger. Tango Mike, give way to the caravan vacating on hotel and taxi up to the Holding Point Hotel and hold short of runway 10, number 2 for departure. Give way to the caravan up to hotel, hold short of the uh, 10, number 2, 682, Tango Mike. Welcome everybody. We are departing the Turks and Caicos. Flew in here from Portola to get fuel. Really fantastic FBO, Atlantic Aviation, here in uh, Turks and Caicos. Uh, there are three FBOs here, I think, and um, I read the comments, and that's what made me go in there. It was just really nice. We had a great time in Tortola, but we will talk long and hard about the IAT Jet Center signature there. Taxi for Adelaide, 270. Taxi for Shorts, we copy Adelaide. Uh, it's a little tough getting in and out of um, Turks and Caicos because they don't have uh, taxiways, so you have to back taxi on the runway. That just limits getting people in and out. So from here, let me show you the route. There's the route we're going to take real quickly. We are flying into Charleston, South Carolina, where we'll clear customs. Uh, called ahead. File paperwork with them, use flash pass uh, to make sure that all of my international travel was filed. So my wife told me as we're in the FBO, wait, waiting to finish fueling. She said, uh, hey, um, I, got, I just got notified that I got upgraded on this flight, so I'll be sitting in first class. So she is sitting behind me. Hold on, let me snap a quick picture. A very good sport. After having spent a week on a sailboat, sailing's my thing, but she uh, she's pretty supportive. It's nice. Great sailing, really breezy. Had a couple of rough, a uh, couple of rough moorings, just getting tossed around. But last night pulled in, or yesterday afternoon pulled in and uh, got dock at uh, Bitter End Yacht Club. So we were snugged up to a dock with dock power. It was really nice. I'm supposed to be next. Number 682 Tango Mike, backtrack with me, 10. Backtrack 102 Tango Mike. 11, you need full length. Call us, pick right, 311. Backtrack behind the don't jet and line up with ghost. Behind the aircraft, line up with ghost, 311. Ground Delta 1806 is ready to push uh, 6 Alpha with information Alpha. Delta 1806, push back and start up, call ready for taxi. Push start, approve, call you back for taxi, Delta 1806. Roger, clear the shell cake, it's not about 5 5, stand by for the active. Alpha for the shell, stand by. Active. Cake is 2 1 1, after departure, turn right, wind is 0 8 0 degrees, 1 0 knots, from a 1 0, clear the takeoff. After departure, turn right, clear the takeoff, for the kick code 2 1 1. 2 Tango Mike, line up and wait, runway 1 0. Line up and wait, 1 0, 2 Tango Mike. Looks like they just gave someone an intersection takeoff Take ahead of them. 3 3 3, airborne 3 2, report leaving 6000. Air Canada 133, uh, three, uh, Roger will do. Turn around spot. That does not show up in the chart. Air Canada 1333, three, three. what's the passing altitude now? Through uh, 2,900 for Canada 1333. Three, three. Gotcha. 1-0 verified, performance data verified. November 682 Tango Mike, uh, the preceding beach 1900 is in the right turn, southeast bound, climbing to 9.5. Break after departure, maintain runway heading. Wind is 08, 0 degrees, 1-0 knots, runway 10, clear for takeoff. Okay, run, uh, runway heading, clear for takeoff, runway 10, watch for the traffic, 682 Tango Mike. 
Long it's 211 airborne 3 4. Pick up power okay. selected. And achieved. Airspeed's alive both sides. Maybe not cross check. B1. And rotate. I don't. I mean, it's two positive right zero here. Back track with me. One zero line up with me. Here's 130 flaps up. Probably 10 line up away. I'll uh, take off to right. max continuous thrust. Zero two four eight. You need a full line. I got everything taken from right here. Line up run me one zero. Line up one zero zero two four eight. Traffic six o'clock. Low. Less than one mile. Uh, 51 so Adam, we have two seven. That's for flight level 060 for Canada, 1333. Okay, out of 1333, three, three, continue with Miami Center, 125, that's one, so long. 125, that's level 1, Air Canada, 1333, thanks, so long. Number 682 Tango Mike Airborne 35, continue with Miami Center, 125, that's one, so long. 25.1 for 2 Tango Mike, see ya. Miami Center, good afternoon, Honda Jet 682 Tango Mike, 3800 for 6000 on a runway heading. Number 682 Tango Mike, Miami Center, radar contact, 5 miles east of Providence, Dallas, the direct new car, coming to me, same follow with 280. Up to 280, direct new car, 682, take a look. Got edge 119, contact Miami Center, 126.45. Confirm flight level 280 for two tango bikes. Affirmative. Uh, Miami Center, Canada, 1333, level 101. Clock about uh, two miles. East side, not to the case, east side, five hundred over. Miami Center, Canada, 1333, level, flight level 100. Air Canada, 1333, roger, flight maintain, flight level 280. Flight maintain, flight level 280, Air Canada, 1333, when able to estimate for lucky requested altitude of climb on level. All right, there's the fun part of getting out of there. I'm going to shut the cameras off and we'll catch the approach into Charleston. Uh, Miami Air Canada 1333 estimating left at 2213. All right, welcome back. It's got a lot darker. Got the coast of uh, South Carolina right off our nose. Been cleared uh, direct Charleston, so we are okay. coming through really flight level 23.4 and down to 11,000. Ocean 5388, JSN, I maintain for I'm just going to have to talk over center a little bit. So I was talking to Miami Center and I realized I was going to miss my customs time by over 30 minutes. So no way to contact them ahead of time. And uh, so I just asked, you know, hey, what do you recommend? And they reached out to Jacksonville Center and they said, hey, once we hand you off to Jack Center, give an updated arrival time. And Jack Center reached out and talked to customs in Charleston. So that was great. Here's one thing I can tell you, the customs process back in the U.S. is much different than it is uh, when we landed at Portola. 2407, Medivac Altair, 543. But been a beautiful flight, beautiful night. We're going to land in Charleston. 
clear customs, get some fuel, maybe a bite to eat, and then uh, head on back to Richmond. Southwest 1099, Jazz Center, descend now to uh, flight level 230, then cross Looney at 10,000, Jack South Cemetery, 3016. You know, in these night flights, there's not a lot, whole lot to see outside. One thing I have figured out, though, is um, I have the older version of the G3000, the updated version, has higher screen resolution, faster processing. So when I get, I get rolling blackout, uh, during the daytime, but when this, uh, when this, when the PFDs and MFDs automatically adjust for darkness, it tends to uh, come at a higher resolution, and it works really well with the cameras. So, cockpit views at night are usually a whole lot better there during the day. I got a text. Uh, I was on the boat today, sailing back. Got a text from the guy I went through the type rating with. They partnered you up, basically, for the simulator. Ultimate transition. Next checklist is approach. And um, the guy, the guy's name is Gary Payton. Um, our first day there, I guess there's about 20 of us in the type rating, and we're introducing ourselves, and they ask a little bit of your aviation background, and you know what brought you there. Guy says his name. Like I know that name from somewhere. Where do I know that name? So it's not stalking if it's research. So I was studying that night. I went and looked him up, and sure enough, he had been an he had been a uh, astronaut with NASA. Did a space shuttle ride. So the next day, I say to him, "Hey, Gary, uh, did you leave a little something out on your on your aviation history yesterday?" And, you know, old guy with a million hours, and just, you know, come on, he's ridden the space shuttle. His response was, didn't we all leave a little something out? It was really fun going through the type rating with him, and especially in the simulator. Uh, but he is... So, wing 85, descend to maintain 11000, Savannah altimeter, 2017. He did a program through Jetit. I'll put Jetit's information up there on the screen. He did something called the Red Jet Program. Uh, I think that, I think I got that right. Where basically pilots um, pilots uh, they 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 basically buy a share, right? And they get type rated in the aircraft. I think they're type rated as a second in command. So they get a certain number of hours. Okay, Boeing thirty six twenties aboard. We're at a seventy five hundred for ten thousand. Convoy thirty six. They sent me a text today saying, "Hey, because." He had to go, the only thing he had to do was get uh, three takeoffs and landings afterwards. And he sent me a text today, he said, hey, I've only, I've only been able to get um, two flights in. And, uh, you know, we did our type rating, I guess we finished up at the end of July. And um, he said that he was using Microsoft Flight Simulator to stay current on the G3000, and that it had been really great for him. And I know it isn't exactly uh, correct, but I saw some comments on the last video that I uh, posted. Matter of fact, I was flying into Charleston with our daughter on the last video. Got a couple comments on how some of the upgrades uh, to Flight Simulator were really good. I'll have to go take a look at it at some point. Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a gamer. I don't, I don't have the cool factor that Citation Max does out there on Twitch gaming with all his, with all his buddies. But um, so anyway, I, I texted Gary and I said, hey, go, go take a look at this hangar flying video that I did on the G3000. He came back and goes, wow, that was fantastic. It really helped refresh him. So I, you know, I, all I can say on my on the Blue Max 6 channel is, yeah, I, I helped the NASA astro astronaut. You know. Jack Center, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike on guard. Uh, you're coming in broken. Say again, frequency. Uh, 682, Tango Mike, kind of Charles to 120.7. Have a good night. 20.7 for two Tango Mike. See you. Charles, good evening. Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, 12.3, descending 11.11,000. Number 682, Tango Mike, Charleston approach, September 3016, expect visual approach, runway 21, and do you need custom? 3016, expect the visual to 21 and affirmative on customs for two Tango Mike. 
rather. Two Tango Mike, fly heading at 350. 350 for two Tango Mike. We've approached November 560, Quebec Sierra, out of uh, 19.3 for 11,000. Information, Zulu. November 560, Quebec Sierra, Charleston approach, September to 3016. Expect visual approach on way 21. Do you need customs? 3016, visual 21, affirmative on customs, 3560, Quebec Sierra. Roger. That changed my Remember, two landing. Tango Mike, descend and maintain 6,000. Yeah, 6,000 for two Tango Mike. Number two Tango Mike, fighting 340. 340 for two Tango Mike. All right, flaps to go. Southwest 2431, clear direct May May, join the approach. Correct. May May join the approach one five Southwest twenty four thirty one. So uh, go look up Gary Payton. He's now teaching at the Air Force Academy. Really exceptional guy. Interesting. Very interesting career. JetBlue twelve seventy four. Charles in departure. Ready to contact. Climb maintain one zero thousand. I asked him a couple of questions while we were prepping for a sim session one afternoon, and he basically got got up on a whiteboard and did a full description about how they calculated their deorbital burn, how they slowed down how they came up with their different scenarios for uh, shooting the approach. Remember, zero Quebec the there. shuttle was just Clear absolutely fascinating. Back there to send maintain 5, so listening to the ATIS, I was expecting the um, land runway 15. For two Tango Mike to send and maintain 5,000. 5,000 for two Tango Mike. Citation zero Quebec there, I'm in the altitude to send and maintain 6,000. Okay, we'll stop at 6,000, 560 Quebec here. So I set up my performance data based on that, based on the weather and the runway. So I just got the visual to 2-1, which is absolutely fine. And I had to go through and uh, redo the performance data based on that. My wife enjoyed the ride in the back. I turned yeah, on 1274, contact all the cool lighting. 1, 3, 4, She's 4, like, no, 3, I want it dark. Talking to approach, I've got information x-ray. I've got tower up on number two, followed by ground. As soon as the engine tower, I'll be ready to go. 1,000 feet to go. Honda jet. Two Tango Mike, descend and maintain 2,000. Down to 2,000 for two Tango Mike. Airport side line, Southwest 2431. Southwest 2431, clear to visual approach, runway 15, maintain 180 knots, they're graded till 5 mile final. Clear to visual 15 and 180 till 5 mile final, Southwest 2431. It's a hazy night. On the jet, two Tango Mike, reduce speed to 180. 180, two Tango Mike. Speed brakes are out. Aircraft's depressurizing. I don't know if you all can hear that or not. It's pretty loud in the head up front. Out of jet, two tangle mic, turn left, heading uh, 280. Left 280, two tangle mic. Two Tango Mike, turn left heading at 230 during the approach. Left 230 join for two Tango Mike. Citation Zero Quebec Sierra, turn left heading 300, set to maintain 2000. Left to 300, descend to 2000 for 560 Quebec Sierra. Remember, two Tango Mike, advise runway 21 in sight. Uh, runway in sight, two Tango Mike. Oh, departure 5045, tell him it's 1100 climbing. Number two, Tango Mike, clear to visual approach, runway 21, contact tower 126.0. Uh, clear for the visual 21, switching to tower 2, Tango Mike. Number five, zero. Tower 100, jet 682, Tango Mike, visual 21. 682, Tango Mike, Charles Tower, runway 21, clear to land. Clear to land 21, 682, Tango Mike. All right, setting power for ref. Evening, Charles, the tower, a, let's say November 560, Quebec here. We're uh, with you for visual 21. Quebec here, it's off tower runway 21, clear to land. 21, clear to land, 560, Quebec here, please. Autopilot, yaw damp to go.
five hundred. Minimums. Minimums. Continue. Four thousand. Sorry, shaking left for what? Actually, you're going to customs, but I, I got traffic coming in behind you. So make a left on hotel and contact ground point honor, please. Okay, left on hotel to ground two tango mic. Ground Hunter Jet six eight two tango mic is hotel for customs. Number six eight two tango mic Charleston uh, ground taxi to customs via. Hotel, right turn Alpha, and then uh, right turn on Charlie, left on Bravo to the ramp. Are you familiar? Hotel, uh, Alpha, Charlie, and unfamiliar for two tango mic. Or two tango mic, Roger. It's going to be two rights and then a left, and you'll see. You should see those blue flashing lights off to your right right now. That's where the customs agents are. Two tango mic. Ops uh, twenty four thirty one on the ground for uh, Gate Bravo four, I think. That's still transmitting on ground. Number two, Tango Mike. Um, you're going to head down to Bravo, and uh, once you make that left on to Bravo, you'll have those blue flashing lights. That's the customs agents. Just make sure you maneuver yourself to the back right of the ramp um, to allow room for the regional jets to get into the gates. Two, Tango Mike. All right, folks, I'll go ahead and shut the cameras off here. But uh, thanks so much for following along. This is, it, it's how customs does it. Works. Yeah. <laughs>